In this video, I will write the electron configuration of chromium 1 plus, 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 4 plus 5 plus and 6 plus. Also, I will write the electron configuration of neutral chromium. You have to remember that to write the electron configuration of ion, you first need to write the electron configuration of the neutral uh, atom. You know that uh, the atomic number of chromium is 24. This means that it has 24, uh, 24 protons and 24 electrons. The charge of proton is positive one, the charge of electron is negative one. 24 positive charge, 24 negative charge will cancel each other. So, we will get zero charge for neutral chromium ion. Now, we have to write the electron configuration of chromium. So, we need to write the, uh, need to write the uh, subcell sequence. We know that we have sp and df sub subshell. Uh, s can hold maximum 2, p can hold maximum 6, d can 10 and f can 14. So, this is our first subshell, second, third and fourth. So, to write the electron configuration, we need to write the sequence of subcell. SS, say with me, SS, PS, PS, just twice. Then DPS, DPS twice. Then FDPS, FDPS, FDPS. You can write FDPS to any number, right? So, here is the way. SS, say with me, SS, PS, PS, DPS, DPS, FDPS, 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 SS, PS, PS, DPS, DPS, FDPS, FDPS, FDPS. You have to write SS just twice, then you have to consider PS as a unit and you need to write twice, then you have to think DPS as a unit and you have to write DPS two times and then you have to write F. FDPS as a unit. You can write FDPS any 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 num any times according to the atomic number. So now uh, we have 24 electrons. So let us uh, distribute 2, 4, 6, 10, then 12, 18, 20, then here 4, right? 24. So, we do not need this uh, subshell. Now, we have to place uh, the number before S. S start from 1. So, this will be 2S, this will be 3S and this will be 4S. Right? Okay. Now, we will place number before P. P start from twice P, then 3P. And then, we will write the number before D. D start from 3D. So, this should be the electron configuration of chromium, but this is not uh, the electron configuration of chromium. You know that D can uh, hold maximum 10 and the half of 10 is 5. That is half filled D or subshell and full filled D subshell is more stable. That is why look here the 3D has 4. So, it will take one electron from this uh, outermost shell that is 4S shell and it will uh, it will be 5 and it will be just 4S1. So, this is the electron configuration of a neutral chromium ion. So, what will be the electron configuration of this ion? Chromium plus. The atomic number is 24. In chromium 1 plus, the number of proton is 24. Proton does not change, but the number of electron will be 23 look for positive one positive will 
will just deduct 1 from the atomic number 24 minus 1 that is 23 electron right so we have to distribute 23 electron so to write the electron configuration of copper 1 plus we have to deduct one electron from the highest value of n here the highest at first we we'll look for uh, look for the highest value of n then we will look for the highest value of n plus l so highest value of n here is 4 right n l n plus l value is also 4 the highest value of n equal to 3 and n plus l equal to 5 so we'll we'll look for the highest value of n here 4 so one electron will go from 4s so let us write 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 then 4s will have 0 then 3d 5 so this is the electron configuration of chromium 1 plus you can also delete this so this is the electron configuration now we'll write the electron configuration of look chromium 2 plus so here in this cation we have 24 protons but we for 2 plus will deduct 2 from 24 that is 24 electrons so chromium 2 plus cation has 24 electrons so how to remove two electrons from here so at first we will look for the highest value of n highest value of n equal to 4 so one electron will go from here then we will look for the highest value of uh, n so highest value of n equal to 3 but here we have 2 3 so now we look to the highest value of n plus l so highest value of n plus n the highest value of n equal to 3 and n plus l here 3 plus 1 for p we consider the value of uh, l equal to 1 so 4 so the highest n plus l value will be 3d right 3d so one electron will go here another will, electron will go here so let us write 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s 0 then 3d 4 so this is the electron configuration of chromium 2 plus okay now we'll look for the electron configuration of chromium 3 plus so what will be the here this ion has 24 protons but uh, electrons we have to deduct uh, 24 minus 3 that is 21 electron this ion has 21 electrons so we have to uh, remove three electrons from the neutral electron configuration of uh, chromium so we'll look for the highest value of n plus uh, n than n plus l so highest value of n equal to 4 so one electron will go from here and then uh, we'll look for the next highest value of n so 3 since we have 3 2 3 so we have to look for the highest value of n plus l so n plus l e for 3d is higher so one electron will go from here and another two electron will go from here so we are getting here look 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s0 then 3d 3 we have to deduct three electron one from here two from here so three so this is this is the electron configuration of copper three plus 
now we'll write the electron configuration of sorry chromium 3 plus chromium 4 plus right so how many proton does chromium 4 plus have uh, chromium 4 plus have a proton number is this 24 protons and electron numbers will be just you have to deduct uh, this since this is positive so you have to deduct here so 20 electrons so chromium 4 plus has 20 electrons so let us uh, write the electron configuration of 4 plus so you have to remove four electrons so uh, one electron will go from 4s1 and another three will go from this 3d so 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s0 3d 1 and we'll go 3 so 2 2 so 4s0 and 3d2 also you can remove this so this is the electron configuration of copper chromium 4 plus so now let us electron configuration of chromium 5 plus in this case uh, one electron will go from this uh, chromium 5 plus has 24 proton and 19 electron because you have to deduct this 5 from 24 19 electrons so uh, to write the electron configuration of chromium 5 plus you have to remove 5 electron one electron will go from here another four electron will go from here so after 3p6 you are you are you have to write like this 4s0 and you have to deduct from four electrons so you will have one 3d1 right look this is the electron configuration of chromium 5 plus so what will be the electron configuration of chromium 6 plus for this chromium 6 plus the number of proton is 24 the number of electrons you have to deduct 24 minus 6 that is 18 electrons right 18 electrons will uh, neutralize 18 protons but we will have six more proton and this is the sign six positive charge so let us uh, remove six electron from here so one electron will go from here and another five electron will go from here so after 3p6 the, we will have zero and here we will have also zero so you can delete this so this is the electron configuration of chromium six plus thank you for being this video be well